Hey YouTube, welcome to Cooking Conversation. Y'all remember those chocolate chip cookies I made, the single serve? I'm making a full batch. It's all the same ingredients. Here's a half, a cup and a half of flour, um, half a cup of sugar. I got my chocolate chips. Instead of one tablespoon, we're gonna use a whole um, stick of butter. Yes, the other one didn't have egg in it, but this one had egg. Um, a little dash of salt, some vanilla, baking soda, and some brown sugar. So we're going to put this together and hope these are just as yummy as the other ones. All right. I'll be right back once I get this all mixed up and we'll, I'll take you guys along with me. All right. One stick of melted butter, half a cup of white sugar. And a half a cup, uh, no, a three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar and mix. One teaspoon of vanilla. One egg. And mix. All right, now we're going to add our dry ingredients, which is a half cup and a half of flour. And I'm going to add the rest of the flour. I am going to add a shake of salt, not too much, and let me get the teaspoon to get some baking soda. Hold on one sec. Half a teaspoon of baking soda, and I'm going to get this all combined and show you what it looks like. The dough works better when you use the rubber spatula, not the whisk. All right, it's almost mixed, so I'm going to add my chocolate chips. And then I'm going to see if I need more. Yep, we needed a little bit more chocolate chips. <laughs> All right. This is what it should look like. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for just a few minutes while I get my um, cookie sheet ready. All right, be right back. All right, you guys. So it looks like this is enough dough for about 12 medium-sized cookies because I got six on the cookie sheet but then I still got like half of the dough still left so I'll just put that in the refrigerator and there you have it I'm gonna cook it on 350 for about 12 to 15 minutes and I'll come back and let you know how they turned out all right there go our cookies let's take them out yum looks like I could have used more chocolate chips huh oh well let's take them out and see All right, you guys, this is the second batch, and these two ones right here are like little mini cookies, and I put extra chocolate chips in this batch, so hopefully we'll get more chocolate chips in this one, all right? This one is going in the oven. I was going to save it for later, but you know what? Why? All right, guys. Ooh, yes. Here we go. These have way more chips in it, so these look really good. All right, let me take them out and let them cool. Yeah, these look much better. You got to put a lot of chocolate chips in them if you want them to be chocolate chip cookies, right? Here's the other ones. They're smaller, but I mean, they're bigger, but they don't have as many uh, chocolate chips in it. All right, you guys, they're still a little bit warm. I just couldn't wait. This is the ones with the, with the extra chocolate chip cookie. I mean, extra chocolate chips. So let's give it a try. All right, here we go. Goodness, who says mm, that I don't know how to bake cookies? I'm learning how to bake cookies, y'all. Mm, this is so good. Try it. Thanks for watching.